sun Carry a compass to help you along Hi, my name is Stephen Sindoni. Thank you for tuning in to the broadcast of Protester Rights Manual. In today's program, I would like to direct my message to all of the protesters who have taken to the streets of New York City. What I will share with you now will ensure that your rights under the Constitution cannot be violated by New York City police officers or federal law enforcement officers who are trying to stop you from protesting. By following these simple instructions, there is nothing a law enforcement officer can do to imprison you for being involved in a protest march. I will now provide the necessary information you will need to take control of this situation and accomplish your goal and be able to express your First Amendment right. So what are your options? Option number one would be never confess who you are. That is bearing false witness against yourself. Some people advocate carrying no identification because if you are arrested, law enforcement has two hours to identify you. And if you identify yourself, they are allowed to hold you provided you don't sign their paperwork or otherwise traverse for three days or 72 hours. The general rule is therefore, of course, never tell them who you are why do their job for them or sign anything. It's most important to remember that anything you do except comply insofar as dealing with the police is concerned is interfering with a policeman in his line of duty. What is his duty? It is revenue collection for the city. One of three things is needed to identify you. Your date of birth, the day your vessel, example your body was birthed into the 14th Amendment Public Charitable Trust as a citizen of the United States a corporate franchise launched into a voyage in a commerce in an ocean of insolvency, example, unpayable bankruptcy. The second thing needed to identify you would be your driver's license. And the third thing needed to identify you would be your social security number. So to summarize, without your birth certificate, your driver's license, or your social security number, their job is difficult to impossible, especially with a two-hour time limit. And as a perfect example, if 500 or more people are arrested tomorrow in New York City and no one gives up their name, their social security number, their driver's license, or any of the needed information, then they can only hold you for two hours. And if the police station is full, they will have to let you go because there's no place to hold you. So you will be able to express your First Amendment right. I wish all of you good luck in your protests, and I wish I could be there with you. I'd like to end by thanking you and letting you know that all of America thanks you for your bravery and courage to stand up and put an end to the madness. It is time that we put a stop to Obamanomics and take America back.